Lewis, who's that you see there? Perian Fizzle Axe. Sure. Is it? I don't know who it, who I'm seeing. That was Ursa. Daff, I guess. And I'm telling Get you right now, sh- Ursa is a scary boy. Oh, also, the new hero. <gasps> Marcy. Marcy Whoops-a-daisy. They lost. Oh, wait. Which team is Daff on? <laughs> uh, this is my last ever game as Herald. I'm, I'm 770 MMR. I'm 770 MMR. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, so, I believe. <laughs> yep, they lost. Uh, There's no way they beat this hero. This this hero is complete bullshit. Um, they lost. <laughs> it's over. I'm telling you right now. Uh, so, Marcy is a hero that I have yet to play. She can toss allies and enemies around. She can jump off her friends to get basically like a free blink dagger. So, oh, by the way, everything does damage. Um, she has a sidekick, which gives life steal and bonus damage. Um, she can give it to a mate or she can give it to herself, I think. And uh, unleash, which is where she just kills you. You'll see. She just presses that and you die. Yeah, she's she's scary. So we got Daff on a oh. team with a Bloodseeker support. They oh. got Invoker mid. They got a oh. Luna. Oh. They got a Bristleback. It and they got a Nature's oh. Prophet. Oh. Fucking hell! What a this team! This is ugly. This um, is ugly. But also, we got a Magnus, and of course, fresh off of TI. Yeah. Everyone is picking Magnus. Um, in the finals and also in the tournament general, Magnus. With Magnus that was the hero of TI for sure. He, he was, was. He was the guy. Um, so let, let's run through some of these heroes. Magnus is uh, basically this big lad here. Looks kind of like a a centaur, I guess, um, but he's not. He's a he's a Magnus. He's a I can't remember what race they are, but he, he <laughs> what is, a description. He is a, one of those. Um, so yeah, he has a, shockwave, weird. where he sort of pounds the ground with his hammer, and a big electrical shockwave shoots out, does damage, pulls enemies around a bit. Empower, he puts that on a hero, especially a melee hero, and they get bonus damage of 36%, so it scales. And they get cleave, which is insane. So you stick that on Ursa, he hits harder in the fights, he farms faster. This lad's taken skewer level one, which is silly, really, but at the same time, I guess it means that if they try to go on him, he can escape. I mean, the skewer hooks, m- moves him and moves people with yes, him, right? So, so the whole Magnus thing when is he, he skewers, people and he goes, and, and sort of charges in a line. If you're in yeah, front of him when he skewers, you will be dragged sucks. along with it. Oh, they got Invoker. Marcy killed him, of course she did. Let's watch that back, shall we? Because <laughs> it's always interesting to see how a bullshit hero does bullshit things. So, all right, so Invoker's super low. She's just going to punch him and he's going to die. This Invoker is an idiot. The Axe Shard on Magnus gives him this ability called Horn Toss, which yeah. lets him grab someone and fling them over. And Marcy starts with that. Yes, uh, it's she It's basically Horn Toss. But uh, so she, the, 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 the idea with Magnus is here. that you can skewer your enemies um, back into your friends. Oh, yep. And she just does that. And then she does punch and he's dead did you see how much she punched him for because of sidekick she hits for when she activates that it's only six seconds but she hits for 87 per punch at level three two minutes into the game that is insane she's she's good she jumps in out of nowhere she zaps you but people are learning to fight her actually now and so it's already i found spirit breaker to be very pog at fighting her oh yeah Daff, by the way, playing the bristle back. He is getting a getting a kill on the Keeping his Ursa, back to the enemy. Also, he's bought a soul ring. I'm liking this from young Dav. So this lane is going well so far. Yeah. Um. Uh. This bloodseeker is obviously a noob, right? Yeah, well, that's fine. I mean, I just feel bad for this Luna who's having to solo lane. Uh. So I didn't mention uh, Magnus's biggest spell, other than Horn Toss, which is very pog, but actually quite hard to land. I found. <laughs> Uh, you get RP, you press R, and in quite a large AoE around you, and it is BKB piercing, so it doesn't matter if you spell immune, it uh, stuns the enemy in an AoE. 3.75 seconds is a long time in Dota. Oh yeah! Oh fucking die, Marcy! Yes! Yes, Invoker! I don't know what his name is. It looks like the word cock, kind of. I can't tell, but anyway. Well, we'll call him, we'll call him cock. We'll call him Just... cock. Actually, we'll just call him Invoker, that's easier, because I, I know a cock. Uh, and oh, I don't get already. Well, um, I know a lot of cocks. Indeed. So, the RP is very, very pog spell. So, the old combo used to be you RP'd the enemy, then you walked around in front of them and skewered them back into your teammates or, you know, out of the Roche pit or whatever you needed to do. With yeah. Horn Toss, you can blink and Horn Toss someone. You put them behind you, and then when you skewer backwards, you don't even need RP to do it. So, you can basically bring someone in for questioning, uh, and, and it, it's pretty brutal. And, yes, uh, it's Dab died. Dab died. Dab got Ursa. This is a horrible matchup, by the way. 
two melee heroes into Ursa is not fun. When Ursa well, two gets melee heroes boots, into two melee heroes though, to some extent, is is not so bad. No, no, no. well, least... it doesn't matter because of the Ursa. Right. Like it would be, it would normally be fine. It's just that in particular, Ursa. So to give some people an idea, he's a big, a very big angry bear. The more he hits you, the worse it hurts. So he has overpower, which increases his attack speed. But look at Fury Swipes. Every time he hits you, it adds a stack of Fury Swipes. They, it just gets worse and worse. So he hits you a few times, and each subsequent hit takes advantage of the Fury Swipe level from the previous hit. So you yeah. stack up Fury Swipes on him. As you can see on Dav now, he's got a stack of Fury Swipes on him. He's got five stacks. So he takes 50 extra damage from, from this Ursa. Look at that. So Ursa ooh, can just kill him. Ooh. He has 11, 11 stacks. So he takes 110 extra damage for every attack, which is 162 damage. In other words, Dav would die if he got punched one more time. Very, very, very hard. Very scary. Oh, I Marcy mean, the... died again! Yes, Invoker lad! So, what we used to be able to do on Roche, on um, Ursa, was a level 1 Roche because of that Fury Swipes. You could get so many of them stacked up on him that you could just kill him at level you, 1 you on your own. You can still do that. Not, not alone. Okay. I, don't, I don't think you could ever do it alone. Because you need some kind of um, life steal, I think. Uh, oh. I, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't think it's possible to literally do it level one by yourself because you need some kind of life steal. As you can see, so with morbid mask, basically you just you you can do it once once he's got this, he could go do it right now. But uh, it's kind of tough. He Here has we to go. Get lucky. By the way, look at this. Please report all Furion. Pick noob. Pick, pick hard support farm in jungle. Report all this fuck noob. What's wrong with our team? Your team are so bad. You've got two people jungling. It's the greediest lineup I've ever seen. Guess how much this Bloodseeker, guess how many games this Bloodseeker's got. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. 12,298 games. He's got 12K games and he's Herald 5. 12, listen, 12K. listen, Bloodseeker, Bloodseeker, choose something else to do with your life. Okay. So they're not happy so, with so the- So we uh, haven't talked about- We haven't um, talked about Furion. Nature's Prophet with his five branches. Five branches and the crown. <laughs> hey, he's got I plus nine. That. I he's love got plus that. nine, all attributes. It's like he's role playing as Nature's Prophet though. He's got some trees and a crown. <laughs> I love it. Incredible. That's hilarious. I've, I don't think I've ever seen this specifically. <laughs> um, no. But that is probably no. the cheapest way to get nine attributes. Uh, plus nine attributes is not to be, you know, laughed at. I mean, he could have bought no items. He <laughs> could have bought nothing. But I mean, his attack speed isn't bad. His damage is, is decent. I mean, I, I hate it. But I understand he's why he's doing it. He's got a thousand gold. What is he doing? Is he rushing Midas? Like, what's this? I would say, here? with the way this lad's playing, Lewis, I will happily bet you uh, a McDonald's Happy Meal that this lad is getting a Midas. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So he's obviously picked hard support, but now he's just in the jungle, which means that his carry, Le Luna, is having to Alone. solo yeah. the safe, However, which is not great because you want your Luna to get strong. However, she seems to be doing all right. She seems to be doing all right. It is possible for CM and... Uh, oh, my goodness. This is two for two, I think, mid now. Um, it wow, is. It's pretty equal It duel. is pretty equal duel. Uh, because Maybe if Marcy she's gets balanced on top of after him, all. Well, I, I mean, he doesn't... All he needs to do is... Uh, He's got this weird combination of spells, but uh, he could do Ghost Walk, um, but he just obviously, he, he, he's not able to. Oh my god! Whoa, 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 what whoa! Let's just... What's happening so, here? In goes oh, Bloodseeker, it's... and the lower they get, the faster he goes. There's the Goz coming in from Bloodseeker. Oh, he's trying to run away. Daph's, yeah, Daph's, um... He's turning Daph's around! He's turning them. around! He's going for it! Oh, oh, Dav oh, he gets... got him. Oh, he just... He was just in range of the silence, and Dav managed to get one of them with the quills as well. Very nice. Are we had Bloodseeker before? Not, probably not. I don't you know. think so. So Bloodseeker's whole thing is that the lower your health, the the enemy health, he gets a level of thing something called Thirst, which is a passive. Yeah. And what that means is, uh, as the enemy health goes down, his attack speed and his movement speed go up, and he gets visibility of the enemy. So once yes. they're below 25% health, he can see them wherever they are on the map, regardless. Dav is in trouble. There's a ganking Marcy. He's like, can we get this guy? I'm not sure what that was, but it's gonna work anyway. Maybe not. Maybe Dav's gonna give it the walk away. Keep quilling. Keep quilling. My, oh, they're gonna pick up a return kill. Oh my Mitchie god, run! Bloodseeker, run! He's running! He's oh, running! He's running! He's been running! They kill the, the carry again, that was very pog. So, so this Bloodseeker... Look at that! That's her ult! Did you see? 
She just punched well. him for like a billion damage. It's so stupid. <laughs> mate, that is why the Marcy is a bullshit hero. The Mar oh, mate, whoever, whoever thought of Marcy as a hero and thought it was a good idea, shame on you. They, they've just thought, they, they just thought, ooh, how do we get people interested in our shitty little anime? Let's make a broken hero. All right, but I'm not toxic and I'm not a salty baby. So Bloodseeker, a bit bit squishy actually uh, in my experience. Oh, here comes Nature's Prophet. Oh, Prophet's oh, helping! Too late. Trying to save uh, Luna he behind is, he the is tower. not going to help Luna. I don't know why she's there. Look at there. this dive. She dived too deep and too greedy. Magnus still has not returned, but he somehow died. I think they must have someone microed him to lane. Um, <laughs> but he's going to get an abandon if he's not careful. The bearded one is not helping. Why I've been given a, a game with an abandon, I can't imagine Dab would be in involved in such a game. It's a <laughs> real oddity. But yeah, so we obviously that, na that Nature's Prophet has already been complained at by Luna, but then Luna, soloing the safe lane, decides to dive past the tower. Yeah, so when we talk um, about tower diving, what we mean is, generally speaking, th this tower hits for 90. And when you're level 5, level 6, look how much health you got, 960 health. So these tower shots are taken off close to 10% of your health every time they hit you. Pretty scary. Um, if you've got a creep wave here, the tower will be hitting the creeps. But if you're fighting a hero under the tower, the tower will then, after it's killed its current target, will prioritize you. If you dive past the towers, you're essentially hoping that you'll get the kill and get out, or maybe you're tanky enough to do it. I don't know what this guy's thinking. Ooh, okay. He's got the this slow off. Up. She so doesn't Earth's have her got that little. He's got that little roll There's forward to the use there. Yes. Yeah. Slows. And he's going to do it again and in a sec. And now he's getting his fury swipes in. He's used overpower again. And he's just again. overpowered again. And, and bam, there he's just dead. Just gave him the rundown. So that was the that was a good good freeze with CM. That was exactly what he's she pinging the to prophet. Do. Yeah, prophet. So prophet. Like, why are you not helping me? And he's like, well, pff, I don't know. Oh my god, but I he think he's. I should think he's rushing a day gone, Lewis. <laughs> I think he's right. rushing Dagon. It's it could be Rod of Atos. It could be Rod of Atos. But he's not queued it up. It see, could be Dagon. So. We don't know. Now the recipe for Dagon is another 200 gold away. We're about to find out what this lad's made of. Here comes Bloodseeker though. He wants now, to kill. Now he doesn't have his six. ults. Squirtle's just oh, going to turn around and fuck him up. The tree. Oh no! This is a disaster. Prophet, use the Q. S stop him, Prophet. Prophet is Press absolutely so useless. Oh, and the Sunstrike setup. Oh, Get him, plays yes. from the lads. The team arrived. Daff arrived. Wow, that I'm, was that what was I'm saying, Lewis, is this lad's getting a day gone. I can smell it. I right. can smell it because a, an Atos might actually be useful this game. I'm going to tell you right now, this lad's getting a fucking Atos. He's going to get the oh, day gone. He's going to get the day gone. This lad That's is helpful. Just, this is this is criminal. What this lad is doing, absolutely criminal. Prophet is so good in lane. He clicks. Look, he look how hard he hits. 97. He has good attack speed. His little treants hit as well. He is super annoying. He what he should be doing is punishing this CM, just running at her, clicking her, clicking her, clicking her, setting the trees on her. But he's not doing that. He's farming the jungle. Now he's got his ult. Wrath of Nature. What Wrath of Nature does is you cast it on a part of the map. There it is. There, there it goes. Go. Let's see whose farm he can steal. It bounces around. It bounces around. around. I couldn't see who, what that got. Um, so you cast Wrath of Nature. You cast it on some enemy creeps anywhere on the map that you can see them. Bounces to them, and then it'll also bounce to any other visible creeps. And it'll kill them. It does a lot of damage. Oh, there's the Ghost Walk. Very nice. If Marcy had thought of this and, say, bought some dust, this is a free kill. But these players don't think like that. For reasons unknown. Can they get her here? Nope. She's just going to fucking kill him. Look at this shit. <laughs> Need rush so this is to Blood kill Seeker's it. other ability. He puts down this big area. Yeah, does I'm damage and also silences if you get caught in it. Woo! She Oops. fucked it up! <laughs> go, Invoker, go! Dispose him. You ready? Bam. There we go. This is, a, this is a fight for the ages. Fight it out. Go, Marcy. Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker's level five, but she's low and she's not got any of her abilities. He's going to win this. Bloodseeker. <laughs> what the fuck Man, is going on? got two levels on. from that. Oh, my God. So Checking in on Prophet. Down this ogre. It's an abandon. Magnus has disconnected. It's a Dagon, Lewis. We have a Dagon. Dagon acquired. We have a what Dagon. The, the Repeat. Prophet. We have a Dagon. Fucking hell. If he wins this now, he's going to think he's like... I Some knew sort of it! Genius. I called it and I was correct. There you go, he pressed his ult. There it goes, bouncing around, you can see it. There you go, he cleared that creep wave so Death doesn't get any farm. Very standard stuff. 
Uh, now he's gonna get killed by Ursa, unless he can TP out. He hasn't got TP. He hasn't, he hasn't got, got a TP. He hasn't got a this TP lads. scroll. He hasn't got shit! He hasn't he's got- a fucking idiot. Oh my god. There's the rupture on Ursa Bear! Oh, right, so the ult, there you go. So that's oh, the- Oh, the dust has look ult. out! So that means any time Ursa moves, he takes damage. Yes. So that's- so it's a great ganking ability, right? It's because just it good, guess, especially against a melee core who, like, especially like Ursa, his whole thing is getting on top of you and chasing you down. That's why they gave him Earthshock as the slow. So he, they didn't used to jump forward. He used to just pound the ground and they had to be next to you. So you had to get a blink and stuff like that. Now he's got uh, this Earthshock ability. It doesn't seem like much, but it's enough. It's much It's much harder it's, to it's kite him now. He can get on top of you, yeah. absolutely. Uh, get on top of you and slow you. He's just gonna get tornado meatballs meatball here. This uh, this there's is the a, a, a the, blimmin' fool. Anyone got any reveal? Dust still no. But Marcy's Look at the damage from Marcy. Oh, Bloodseeker just wants to die. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. This Marcy oh. is, however, dead. Doesn't matter. The Ursa just is a is pounding people here. Here he comes. comes. Again. He's gonna. There's another slow. Or the ice oh, wall. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, I don't know what he's doing. This arm! There's a little Run in Boca! Oh, God! Good well, job, Prophet. TP's in. Uh, but Nate, just, Nate just Prophet, very hard to play well because he's so... He is, yeah. I, I, you have to micro all of the treants at well, one place. Well, I'll be honest with you. It, it, I can play Prophet. It's it's not that hard. Like, I know yeah, I, can't I can't play Lone Druid. He's my most all, played all hero you gotta and do. I'm so bad. <laughs> all you've got to like do is control click. Me. You just have to control click and all your lads will attack. There it is, baby! There's the day go Pay on. Off. gets his first kill! Pay Woo! off! Um... So it's really not that hard to play Profit because you can just control click and send all your units on the same target you're on, and it's just not too bad. Um, and you, you can just harass people with them. You, you, you get used to it. Because it also, it doesn't matter if they die. With Lone Druid, it really matters if they die. Like, it sucks. They get the Aegis immediately. Oh, well, right. Ursa so does Ursa, not have Ursa his ult. Oh! And, oh, he's, he's stuck! Oh. He's stuck! Oh, he's gonna leave now. Okay, okay. Wow, that Ursa, so he sneakily got Roche behind yeah. everyone's back. But, but then, then immediately he, lost it. Then he came out of the Roche pit quite low. Invoker um, knocked him up and he immediately meatballed him. This yeah. Invoker seems to know what he's doing. <laughs> uh, this, he's, this is one of these players that P-Flex talks about who only plays one hero. This guy probably only plays Invoker, right? And um, That is fine, yeah. He gives it the walker. No, I, I disagree. I think he, he, he's, he's been terrible, but it's fine. He at least knows to cast the spells. Fair play to him in that regard. Look how little damage Dab takes when he's got his back to them. Oh, nice. Well, but too the... late. Too late. Yeah, Ingo's Bloodseeker Blood wants to perish as well. Doesn't well, have, all quite doesn't low, have his so ult. Look at his speed. He's already he ruptured gets... Marcy. Here comes Luna with a big ult, though. Oh, but Ursa's Not just really doing anything, is it? Oh, Marcy ult. No! Oh, they got him! Nice sun strike. Sun strike. That's lucky. They needed to Passive him. Midas from this lad. There we go. Wow, so it, it turns out this Ursa is just an absolute beast. Look at the damage this fucking hero does. When she's got her ult. Not there, though. Look at that. Look at that. When she doesn't have her ult up, she's pathetic. Invoker has spells, but he doesn't have any mana. Go, Dab, go! Uh, uh, just keep gozzing her and keep quilling her. The goz! <clears throat> Get her! You can fight it out. Quill her up. Quill that bitch. <laughs> oh yo! Oh my god! Yes! Uh oh. Yes, prophet. He's pig pole and away. It's the pig pole. So the pig pole gives you plus six attributes. You can turn it on. You can activate it. You turn into a little pig, which means you can't cast spells or use items or anything like that. Some people have said it's wank, but. In it TI, was used in the grand final of TI. In, in TI, yeah. there were some moments oh, where the pig bolt actually saved the key hero's life via the, the magic of the pig bolt. So it is now known as the pog pole. <laughs> <laughs> Prophet has 4K gold. Wow, he does know he could upgrade that Dagon, right? He does know he could spend any of this money, doesn't he? He's selling the branches. He's selling branches. He's buying ags. He has purchased an ags all at once. So the ags for him lowers the cooldown of wrath and nature and entangles the enemies that it hits. This guy yeah. is a very special boy. That's a very pog item on Nature's Prophet. No recommend. boots, Dagon ags, Prophet. Just never seen the like.
<laughs> this is uh, Harold Harold Dota. What are you talking about? It's working in for him. It's doing. I fine. don't know what Ogre was doing here, he's but he's four one. He's got some friends. You got some company here. Ogre, Ogre, see you later. You are an op. Just, just dab owning a noob. I can't yes. imagine playing in these games. <laughs> Why? Just because nobody knows what they're doing. Like you don't see this profit build in even even in Archon, you don't see this profit. I think it's build. fine. <laughs> it's <laughs> I've mellowed out again. Yeah. After my well, my you know what, mate? I watched I watched uh, Joe and Dav playing the other day. Uh, da uh, Joe was coaching Dav because I think Joe realizes that when he plays in games with Dav, it actually makes it so much harder for Dav that it's almost impossible. Like there are differences, right? If I play with people that are like divine and ancient, I do that a lot, and it's not too bad. Like I, I can do enough that it's not like humiliating and I feel useless. I can do just enough that it's okay. Uh, some of the time. <laughs> but oh, when I play with people that are immortal, they win the game for me. Like, I don't really That's need to do shot. much at all. Ooh. Because a lot of the players that are immortal that I play with are like ex-pros or very, very high-ranked players. And they're so good that even though they might be playing against other immortals, they're just a whole different level of good. So it really doesn't matter what you do. So Dav's kind of stuck where if he plays with a stack where it's like Dav and four Ancient and Divine players, he's just going to die a lot and really not contribute much. And it's not much fun. Whereas if he played in a stack with, say, if I got four of the, my mates I know that are pros or semi-pros or former pros, he would probably be fine. He wouldn't really need to do anything. They could win the game regardless. This oh, is I the see. level of game that Dav should be playing in. Because these guys all suck. So it's fair. You know what I mean? What happened in this team fight here? Did they, just... they just rolled them. They just ran all over them and uh, none of them did anything. I don't know what Invoker did. Uh, I think he's got Cold Snap Meatball. What he needs to do is tornado these noobs. I think he got caught. They didn't have Daff with them because Daff had died massively out of position in top. Daff needs to fucking slay here. Yeah, look. Well, Ursa's just blinking out though. That blink on Ursa works really well. If he gets a hood, he's he's going to be really much better off. He appears to be okay, getting a they're coming back sword. in. Nature's Prophet is actually going to see if he can kill this flipping <laughs> Ursa. What is happening? We can see you, baby. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> got Ursa, out. God. <laughs> Look, he's pick pulling away, but Bloodseeker's so fast! Oh, the Sun Strike! Oh! A bit too early. Oh my god, he's just oh, gonna turn no, a fucking turn fight! Around, no! My days! Oh my Here god. comes Prophet, though! Here comes Prophet! He doesn't have Dagon! He yes, does! He does! Woo! You lost! It's a rage buyback! You lost! Here comes Dagon. Marcy! Oh no, she interrupts his thing! Use your ult! TP out! Oh, he's gonna! Oh, oh, this is hype. This is the hype. That people I was wanted. rooting for him so much to get out there. He did everything right. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't. Ah, Look at his bite. He did everything right. He got the kill. That was Pog, but he doesn't oh, even have he... boots. He doesn't have a blink or anything. Like he needs something. BKB. What's he building now? He's got two K gold. He's Just bought get a tome some... of experience and a fucking. But mana potion now and a bloody nice tears big save fucking... from Invoker. That meatball ain't gonna cut it. He does have an orchid now on Invoker. Marcy can kill this Invoker. Blop. Oh no! Oh no! That Marcy gank is so scary. So that just is so easy for her to do. It works so well with Ursa because Ursa is so slow. Look you know, at the mobility, dude. In front of you. She's ruptured. Why is she running in the rupture? Because she doesn't give a fuck, that's why. She actually She might now, but she knows she's got this crazy lifesteal. Oh, he just gave up! The rupture's supposed to sort of She got a bloody arm. Oh hello! Hello! Yes, yes Luna! Thank God. So Luna's the number one. She needs to actually kill these things, but this bloody Marcy is a... not even gonna bother trying to find her, sure. Marcy's um, gonna come and kill Luna. Nope. No, nope. she's gonna get. He's gonna die. <laughs> Luna's been farming this whole time and actually has yeah. some items. I Luna, Luna, honestly, you were saying this Invoker knows what he's doing. This Luna is actually playing Dota. She yeah. is actually farming, buying the correct items. She's getting a BKB next. She is actually doing the good things that the rest of her team are not. The Ursa is doing Ursa things, to be fair to him. He's building items. 
and I think he's getting a very late Battle Fury, which is absolutely fucking awful. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. He's actually lost his team the game with this awful 22 minute, not even complete Battle Fury. And he's got the two damage items. He's got to keep these out because he needs a Quelling Blade to chop his way through trees, I think, is his, is his logic. Oh, I see. This is of hilarious. The next profit. So he doesn't yeah. want to get caught in the trees by profit. But the thing about Battle Fury is Battle Fury needs a Quelling Blade. Yes. And you can use Battle Fury to cut through trees. You, it acts as a Quelling Blade, yes. So, so actually, one of the things that most people start with a Quelling Blade in vain, and so Nature's Prophet's trees aren't really a very good trap. But later in the game, when they replace their Quelling Blade, they don't realize that they're going to be they trapped get in the stuck. fucking trees. Very famously, oh my god, Lars just is starting to ult the creep wave here. I haven't really seen much from this CM lately, but uh, that's why. God, <laughs> god bless you, Lars. <laughs> god, Tornado. God Meatball. bless you. Orchid. Uh -oh. BKB. BKB. Fresh BKB. Invisible. Shadow Blade also on profit. Just, uh, just a jumps. passive. Just a passive <laughs> Shadow Blade. Not gonna use it. Passive. He just got it for the stats. Oh, right. The rupture okay. goes in on Ursa. But Luna he's gonna ult. Run out. I mean, that rupture cut doesn't it. do enough damage. He's still only got level one rupture. He's still level eleven. Now he's gonna have level two rupture. Fuck me. This game, man. This game. That rupture at level one is is not powerful against a level eighteen hero. Like it's not gonna stop. Sun strike. Yo. Oh, yo. Don't die. He's not gonna get out. He's not got any spells. Fuck. Here comes Bloodseeker. He's gonna not. Is he gonna get her? Oh, the oh, armor toggle. The armor toggle. Oh Christ. <laughs> Poor Bloodseeker! He's having to run! This feels so bad. Why didn't she fight there? She definitely kills him there. Oh my god, Magnus! The micro in the level 5 Magnus! <laughs> Why are they bringing the level 5 Magnus back? I'm just gonna try and bullshit you. Here we go. She greedy, she tossed herself! One more quill! A couple more quills, turn your back! Play yes, back. Dav! Kills Dav Marcy getting the kill off. on the Marcy. Dav being our hero today. He's gonna. Dav, kill gonna... the level 5 lad. You can like two shot him. Free kill. There we go. He's feeding. He's feeding. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice. Keep going. Make some memories. Found your camera. Thank you. Thank you, Microsoft. <laughs> what are you on about? So Dav's, Dav's doing his own Dyer's thing, kind of, despite the team. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't seem to be oh with any of the team. He's just look in the game. I know, but look at this. The Prophet even has the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, why would you build, buy that on... As, that's so, for the... Oh my god. Philosopher's Stone is a neutral item that gives you plus 80 gold per minute, which is fantastic if you're a support who generally doesn't right click. For example, CM. On Prophet, <laughs> who is a right click hero that you really shouldn't play as a POS 5, unless you really, really know what you're doing, it's terrible because he is all about the right clicks. But because he's got this day gone, he just thinks, fuck it, I'm just going to split push. I wonder if he's going to use the Shadow Blade. He's actually constantly right clicking, but as a result, this tower is taking much longer to kill. Yeah, because, because he does he's got 30 minus less 30 damage. attack damage. And 800 GPM is not much. For 80? 800 GPM would Sorry, be amazing. 80, 80 GPM is not its not enough to make up not for... Not at 26 minutes. I mean, it's basically like having, um, you know, a, a, an entire... An extra rune per minute, more or less. A bounty rune. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, also, 30 damage is quite a lot of damage, actually. That's, like, quite an expensive item. Uh, Bloodseeker? This lad is a clown. How did they get so out of position there? Because they just... They don't... They don't know what they're doing, Lewis, would be the, my best estimate. I think it's. I think this is one of those games where they feel like they can fight, even though the carry is farming, right? Luna doesn't care. She just wants to farm. Um, I, I, I will tell you what I think this game is about. This is about... A team of players. Oh my god! He almost got it! He does get the shard! That is amazing! <laughs> this lad is a legend! <laughs> oh, he was so close to just yoinking the Aegis there! That was incredible! Oh my god. This see this guy, Lewis, he's not playing a 5v5 game. He's playing a 1v9 game. He's just right. doing his own thing. He doesn't really give a hoot. He just off He's doing, already uh, bought the Axe thing. Shard, so in this Axe Shard that he got He's from gonna, Brochure doesn't do anything. But will he give it to someone else, or will he just keep it? He could give it to Dav and give him Hairball. Which is obviously a... a, a will he give it to someone else? Person. He does, he gives it to Dav. Hairball, not very good. Is Dav going to notice that it's in his inventory? I don't think so. 
I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be in Dav's inventory at the end of the game. No, nope, I'm wrong. Thank God. He, I think they're talking in chat. We I can't think see they are talking. Chat. What a legend, oh, mate! What? I never doubt with this. This this proper guy. What a G. What a G. What absolutely. So obviously G. a great guy. Uh, they just have a little meeting here where they're discussing <laughs> items and how they're gonna win. He's gi and he's giving him the, the, the cloak, cloak of, of flames. flames as well. Oh shit! What? There's a fight going on. Luna's there fighting. is. She's popped a BKB. She's dropped the. She dropped the Aegis. Dav, look out, man! Look out! Look oh, at God. that shit. They got her though. One for Only one. Just. And they got the Aegis and the Marcy. That was Pog. All they lost for it was their worthless Bloodseeker. So, great. That Bloodseeker has just... He's still so far behind in everything. He's 65. got a Radiance, Lewis. He's level He's got 13. a Radiance. He's got 65 last hits with a Radiance. I mean, what the fuck? That is absolutely <laughs> remarkable. Okay, so the Radiance is really like kind of a farming item, right? He's like second bot upon net theory. worth with a Radiance and Treads. I know. I have no idea know. what this is. This is unbelievable. How could you How could you get a Radiance with that little farm at 30 minutes? Like, Has so, he, so he must have been there for some kills. He's three and 10. So he's got some money there. This is purely from passive gold because yeah. he's, he isn't hitting creeps very much. So you just do accrue money over time. If he's been there for some kills, he's just acquired it. So Daff again is just on his own 1v9 here, <laughs> just pushing He's got less the money base. than the CM who's just uh, just ulting creep wave. Daff is just going up and hitting buildings alone. <clears throat> just incredible. Uh, what, what? What? Where does this go? Why, why does he do this? <laughs> you know what? I, mean, I was watching the stream with Joe and Dav the other day, and what made me laugh was, first of all, the, how, oh, they fought it, okay? Was how positive was Joe that was. Tower? I don't know. Joe was very, very positive and really encouraging, and it made me feel bad because he was like, yeah, we're doing it, buddy. Let's go. And Dav, I'd never seen Dav so happy. He was like, we're gaming. We're gaming, boys. We're gaming. He was so happy. I was like, look at Dav's goofy smile. <laughs> And he's just loving it. And I was like, man, maybe uh, if I was more positive, I'd get a better result out of people. Because I tend to just shout at people uh, and hope that that will eventually sink no, in. No, no. Well, that's how I've learned as well. It hasn't worked with my know? kids. It's not going to work with Dota players. So I need to be a much more encouraging. Oh, the fuck. problem is, when you've said the same thing 30 times, it gets annoying when it just don't, never works. Hellwell oh, is going to try and fight this lad. Rupture. Rupture. Okay, it's gonna get Orchid. silenced. Orchid, this lad's dead. Damn. Here comes Marcy, Here comes though. Marcy. Oh, you're not going to Jump straight Loose over beam. the Luna. Tornado. Here's a, here's a meet. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, sh God, poor Evoker did not expect that turn around. Man, the damage <laughs> is insane. <laughs> oh, Bloodseeker dropped a gem. Why yeah, is he yeah, carrying the gem. fucking gem? I don't know, gem. here comes Dab, though. The ult has run out. I need to get the door, Lewis. Pause the game. Oh my god, pause, pause the game. I'll pause it. Oh my god. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, so, 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 who bought the gem? Did Bloodseeker bite with his tiny amount of gold? For what? To see I don't know. Is invisible. Hold on. Why would you buy a gem in this game? Hold on. We, we missed something on either there. Team. Prophet is going up here looking for Lars. <laughs> He's got the sil he's got the silver edge and an orchid. Right. This lad's oh so rich. Oh my god. And he just Orchid him! Orchid him, you absolute gibbon! Oh. <laughs> Doesn't need to. Now he's trying to TP home, he's gonna die to the ignite damage. No! All he had to do was orchid him! It's just there! They are winning this game. Get the big one! Get no! The the racks there! <laughs> this selfish, greedy bastard prophet has actually done it. This is incredible. Yeah! Oh my but god! Monica. Pro gamer! Get it! I'm a fucking pro gamer! See those trees as well, like contributing to knock those barracks down. But but like I said, the prophet is playing his own game. He's just doing his own thing. And luckily, the enemy team were not coordinated in any way, shape, or there was, form. Uh, I know. But here comes the throw. The here comes okay. the throw. Right. They're gonna use the bearded one. He's but, level seven, but they haven't leveled up his ult. Wait, see, but they're putting the empower. They've leveled him. They've just to, level to empower the Ursa. But there's the blink. The tornado. Ooh. So okay. they lost two lanes of racks there. Where's Prophet? He's dead. He's just gonna go straight up. Watch this. As yeah. you foretold, straight in. Ursa's TPing back though. He's gone invisible. 
Marcy comes in, but oh, they get dust. the dust off. They get him. Well, oh, cataclysm! Oh, dead, nothing. Cataclysm didn't does hit nothing. Anyone. That was Evoker. They were they were ready for that. But they he got like, the tower. He's got two racks left. Look at this. Profit. So, Lewis, this this is where you do not want to be in a game of Dota. All right, no, not, and I'm not talking about being down two lanes of racks. That's obvious. If you look, no one is pushing creep waves. They have only taken one tower this entire game, the Dire team. One tower. What have they been doing? At no point have they grouped up and attempted to do anything as a team. But Marcy and Ursa have been obsessed with getting solo pickoffs, just running up and fighting. Ursa just died running up here, all alone. Marcy just runs in and tries to kill someone. They all want to superhero it. No one is playing as a team. There is no attempt to play as a team. The Radiant team is not winning because they're playing as a team. They're winning because Profit is just doing Profit things. And the enemy team is so uncoordinated and shit that they just the can't get on it. Here. here it comes. The BKB Ursa comes out from Luna. He Luna is not. Death. He is Dice. absolutely fine. Oh Bloodseeker is doing absolutely nothing. It's Luna versus Marcy with Invoker helping out. She's armor toggling. She's trying to do it. She's not gonna. See, look at this. There's no teamwork. There's no attempt to play as a team at all. Death pull back. Invoker, this is Ursa brave, hit. sir. Has Orchid. But uses Orchid. Here comes Bloodseeker. He does Blood no Seeker. damage. They get him. They get him, and look who's not there. It's Prophet. He's winning the game. <laughs> oh, oh my no. God, he's gonna. Ursa pull back. He's invisible. Oh, he's doing. He's gonna get caught though. Ursa oh. died back. Magnus dead. It's Mega Creeps. What a game. What a game of Dota. GG team. GG me. <laughs> 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 no GG team, GG me. <laughs> oh my god, last game is a Herald. Last Woo! game is a no! Yes, we did, it! we did it! Yes! On the Gibbon Express to Guardian Town. All aboard Guardian Town. Choo choo! Look at that. Look at that! Guardian won! What a moment. What a moment here today. But they barely won a 5v4. They barely won it, but the, the reason they won it is because the enemy team didn't group up and force objectives. And that just let Profit go and do his fucking PvE game and win it. Hilarious. I know. So well, let's he, look at the he scoreboard. as hard support. Amazing. That was, that's, that's how he plays. I think in his mind, this is the best way he can support his team by doing nearly 20k building damage. <laughs> He did almost as yeah. much building damage as okay. hero damage. He did more building damage than Bloodseeker did hero damage. And Bloodseeker built a Radiance. I mean, this is This a, was a true 1v9. It really, he just did it himself. Uh, so wow. fair play. Don't ever do this. He bought both the books. <laughs> uh, he bought a shard for himself. He bought, he went Dagon Ags. He didn't buy boots at all in the game. Just was the incredible. Steel, he stole. He always stole the fucking Aegis as well. He, that was I honestly have such a pop huge play. respect for. This lad is hilarious. But no, I really hate people like this. It's <laughs> terrible. But oh my god, that was funny. <laughs> Great to watch. Horrible yeah. to have in your game. Well, there you go. That was that. Thank you. We'll be back next week with some more of this. Uh, until then, take it easy. Adios, amigos.